Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, single save game, and no failures uh, on any mission are allowed. Today we're going to look at a Black Hat Crackdown, a uh, difficult mission uh, that is uh, going to yield us a lot of credits plus removing the unrest. If we look at the city overall, our unrest is really moderate, and that's one of the only places where we could use some help. So perfect timing uh, we are good on our uh, overall resources but surely having more uh, supplies cannot hurt so let's get ready with the team we do have two um, epic weapons at the moment which is great we got our um, utility items all sorted out which is um, likewise good and everyone got enhanced weapons for now so that is good as well I, I feel the team is really coming together and it's only one uh, mission this is the prime team it was like the one that we've drafted so I'm expecting nothing short of an absolute phenomenal curbs, uh, curb stump um, because that's these should be the best soldiers by now breach mode so Units get 25 defense for one round. I like it. First unit deals three damage. Um, no, we're taking the defense. Uh, that's a great benefit. We only have one encounter. And the first round is probably the most impactful. And here's the great part about, um, about uh, cheer up. Even if there would have been like 12 or 15 enemies and lots of them hostile, we could have just used failing. So I think that is one of the best breach abilities. Um, maybe just a personal opinion there. Uh, trooper, Cobra, another trooper, a bomber up there, interesting, and a necromancer. You know what? Let's phalanx because I don't want to deal with the uh, bomber. I much rather want to deal with the Necromancer right away. It's a nice little hit. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're eventually getting him down. Very nice. I remember this mission. That was a slugfest. I have the target. Smash it to pieces. Destroy the mean bot to stop reinforcements. So where was that again? Oh, it was right here. Gotcha. Good. We're doing exactly that. Um, Getting blue blood up here. By the way, also giving him a kinetic shield. Not that he needs uh, that much more aim, but it it's always helpful. Setting up the trooper. And for our purpose... Let's just dead eye that thing. Um, I don't know if we're really dealing enough damage to kill it. Four to five. And that thing has more hit points. So we're going to use our lightning hands on the trooper to kill him. Very good. And let's continue to just take out the bot. Very nice. No more reinforcements. We're now going to take some damage, but I'm totally fine with that.
All right, we're giving a corporation over to Verge, and that's going to be fun. Good. I think we can start preparing that bomber uh, up here. Yeah, might as well. Let's go. <clears throat> Closing in. Let's give him battle madness. I want to deal some damage. Yeah, I was hoping he would go for the bomber, to be honest. But I can get on board with um, his choice. So we are not even injured. By the way, hit point regeneration on Verge, fantastic. Grenades, not so fantastic. Yeah, we're immune to poison. We are very much immune to poison. Thank you, but no thank you. Blue blood takes a kinetic shield. Let's continue harassing the bomber. I would actually want to continue harassing the bomber. Hitting him unconscious and hitting the trooper over here. Holy shit, I, we, we don't even have enemies left over. This team is completely mowing them down. I don't even need to heal. Everyone's self-sufficient. Uh, Hitting their shots pretty much. Repositioning. You need an escort? I remember the last time that we needed to get out here. Your thoughts are mine. So this is me knowing the mission. I if I'm not remembering like incorrectly, uh, we were tasked to leave um, on the other side of the map. Turtling. I'm nearly dry. Good, moving over with the dash. Verge is moving over here as well. I can make it there. Come on, hustle. I think this here was uh, the exit that we were looking for. Everyone almost has a kinetic shield. Maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe. It's actually done afterwards. Okay, I was completely overthinking that. 
I was completely overthinking that. Wow, what a massive one-sided match. With the team, like the synergy is so strong, the crowd control, healing, defensive capabilities, and you still deal offensive damage at the same time. It's just crazy. have a religion what mutons or aliens in general either the elders were the closest we had to what you consider gods but there was something else oh mutons who arrived in the invasion have a spiritual connection with our starships psionic no no nothing like that but we return to them as we can a kind of pilgrimage do you ever return to yours now XCOM destroyed it in 2015 Okay, we're now forced to actually do the um, hydroelectric plant, um, which is unfortunate because I think we were doing quite well. It's now forcing us to move up with a critical mission. But I think overall we are in a really, really good spot. Uh, what, we got our basic training almost done with everyone, uh, with the exception of Claymore but he'll, he'll get his training done as well. And very soon, if I'm not mistaken, we'll also get our next uh, operative. I think some of our main team um, members might even be almost ready to be level five, which would be cool. And once that's happening, we're of course putting them into training and slowly but surely like getting the new team on board uh, and phasing the new team in. Um, yeah, that's really it. It's a 12 minute uh, mission. Guys, I can't release a 12 minute uh, video, so we gotta play another mission. I'm sorry for that. We just killed it way too hard. Can't upgrade it, so we're just jumping right into it. 15 Elerium. And a progression is all we get out of this mission. Three different encounters, so that's going to be a difficult mission. But have no fear, our A-team is going to go into the mission. All right, here we go. Time for the breach mode. Identified a Gray Phoenix lieutenant at a hydroelectric plant. Gray Phoenix is moonlighting at a power company. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, because being able to shut down half the city's power grid is hilarious. Not when you put it like that. Good. First unit will be rooted for one turn. First uh, through this entrance is granted their shot. Last unit will be rooted for one round. Well, it either way is not that good, but I think the main door is still better. So cheer up. Then we're going to go with uh, Verge and then Terminal and Blue Blood. Stay behind me. All right, breaching in. What's the situation? We only got one Paladin here, a Trooper. And another paladin. Well, that is not necessarily an impressive enemy force. Matter of fact, that looks like one down. Yeah, let's go for the paladin. Trooper and the Paladin. Okay, so what are we dealing with? Uh, trooper, 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 a Python, and a Paladin. All right.
Good, let's kinetic shield terminal. She has one of the lowest aims, aim scores. And I'm not going to take these ridiculously low shots. I much rather would... Overwatch. If someone moves in. Double time. Target acquired. Well, that worked like a charm. Yeah, shotguns aren't that great if you use them on uh, on distant enemies. Python is directly stunned for two rounds. Perfect. And I'd like to get uh, enemies into the neural network. Good, let's heal up blue blood. And can we take out the Paladin here? No, he's still too uh, much uh, in cover. But what we can do is... We can take out that trooper. It's all right, we got three of them in our neural network. That's ridiculous. Can't hit both of them. And we're unfortunately um, tied to the ground. Yeah, I'll get the Paladin, don't worry. The Python is completely taken out, uh, so might as well focus on the Trooper. There we go. All right, we're rooted. I'm giving it one last attempt, but it seems to not work out to get both of them into the same lance. No. Okay, we're just taking the paladin then. Which is fine, we almost killed one. Moving into line of sight, elsewise we can't give a shield to Blue Blood, and he's really the one that needs it at the moment. Perfect. We're lo uh, we're loading charges. That's not going to help you, buddy. That is not going to help you. Matter of fact, that's going to make things worse. Look at this. Good. And now look at that. 
And then tell me that this character is busted. Three unconscious, and he's being healed for four points every single round. Mind you, he now hits every target with every single shot. Let's get your insides back inside. See? Teamwork. It's not hard. Yeah, let's take the safe route. Uh, but that would. Nah, let's still take the safe route. So I want these cooldowns to refresh. Which means I'm actually offering myself as a target here for the Python. So at least one round uh, should pass so that so that we get what the hell good we're just wasting time at the moment mainly because I want the cooldowns to refresh and unfortunately, the Viper decided to move, and that was a bad, bad choice. Okay, not a very difficult encounter. You must have caught Grey Phoenix in the middle of whatever they were planning. No one in this room knew details. They were here to support their lieutenant's plan. Okay, last unit through this entrance does three dam plus three damage during the breach. Okay, cool. I like it. Our usual setup. In. And then it's time to breach in. Holy shit, again, no enemies other than that editor. Or even fighting against us. Well, that's good enough of a shot. Seven to eight, seven to eight. Yeah, let's just kill this header. Thank you. Oh, there are more enemies, finally. And we start on high ground. That's good. Reinsuring. Two legionnaires, a paladin down here. Helping blue blood. And I think we should go for the adder. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Good. That's a wasted action from the Legionnaire, and we got another charge. I'd like to take out that Legionnaire. Worked absolutely like a charm. Using the Python to attack the Paladin. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for.
What's our chance to hit the Paladin? Ah, not so great. Unless we're using Hail of Bullets, in which case it's 100% chance. Great. Uh, so we still got the option to give an action over to a Verge. Verge is using this action in order to take out a Legionnaire. Yep. And now we got a nice little neural network. Uh, let's rain havoc down on this paladin. Think fast. Holy shit! Directly uh, knocked unconscious. Good. Let's get our extra bonus loot here. Up. Helping terminal with the kinetic shield. And since we have so many so uh, so many enemies in our network we are 100 percent sure to hit every single one of them unlike the legionnaire who is not sure about that Okay, off to the third encounter. We are slaughtering them. That VIP knows about other Grey Phoenix operations. A capture is preferred. All right, gotcha. Close enough if I charge my shield. Successful shots will crit. Yeah, we're doing that. Stay behind me. How many enemies? That's an adder. Ooh, a dominator. We gotta kill him first. Don't want to ha have my mind controlled. So let's use the phalanx. It's the last encounter anyways. Plus it charges the shield. I think that's pretty handy. Nice little critical hit. And he's down. Let's take this adder here. All right, two down. And we get uh, charges for our shield. That was a successful breach. Okay, well, first things first, Blue Blood needs to move up. And then oh, let's charge in and do our deeds. Adder is gone, down. thanks to the charged shield. Unless he looks like a home run. I don't know what to say. Mm. 
Well, maybe I don't kill all three of them, but two of them will be gone. Light it up. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Crossing over. Moving over here. Knocking him out, also getting an aim bonus and regeneration, so that's good. Moving up, and now the name of the game is just don't let the lieutenant escape. 14 hit points is a thing, but 14 hit points is not so much a thing if you just pin him down and prevent him from moving. In that case, 14 hit points like nothing. I'll just give myself a kinetic shield. Might as well take care of the healing. Not a big deal. And let's start softening him up a bit. Thanks to the improved aim, no problem to hit. That's a superior scope right there. Alright, that's one hit. Come on, blue blood. That is unfortunate. Give me your mind. Knocking him further down. He cannot run as far with one action. Yeah, let's hit the Legionnaire just so that we don't need to deal with him anymore. We're giving the shield to Blue Blood so that he definitely hits even the Legionnaire in uh, the boss in full cover, Lieutenant. For every hit, he's going to get more armor, so you really want to hit him hard. There we go. Captured him. Easy. 20 intel. And I don't think it was a, a close call. And that's supposed, or that's the game designs it as a difficult mission, but it tells you that our um, team, and specifically the experience level that the operators have at the moment, is so far ahead of the curve that it's not even a challenge. Minus unrest, 40 credits, that's the normal um, reward. 15 a room is what we get on top of, 
Um, no, 40 credits is what we get due to the fire team. 15 was the normal reward. 30 is the evidence collected. That's great. And 20 from capturing an enemy. So that's actually a really good mission. The Grey Phoenix leadership should throw them into disarray. Perfect. You can now select an agent for your squad. Godmother, Torg, or Sapphire. I will go for Torg. I passed so often. Uh, um, uh, I passed pretty often on her, and it's she. She's just a great character. Um, one of our viewers had made uh, the suggestion to actually start with her instead of um, uh, in uh, instead of cheer up. And there are advantages and disadvantages. Again, I will probably do a different video uh, once I have played with multiple team uh, compositions. But one thing's for sure, like Torque's definitely a strong character. So... Torque. Whisper. Are we good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. Then no, we aren't good. Well, at least things are back to normal. Nice. Let's give her the red team armor. Perfect. He's still unlocking his potential, and that's okay. And we probably need more intel. Yeah, we could. You could also make an argument for more credits. Let's go for more credits once because we need probably need the armor upgrade. So let's. Who, no, 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 we're doing a clever move. Uh, we are actually putting Claymore up here. That's fine. And. Since Axiom already had his training, we'll just let him run the mission. Because you can't skip, uh, uh, you can't exchange um, operators in spec ops missions, but you can very much do that in assembly. I haven't yet found out how to use another um, another operative, like whether you can gain an, an additional slot. Uh, that hasn't worked for On me yet. Occasions, Gray Phoenix has evaded 3-1 PD pursuit. This happens across the city. They can't vanish into thin air. Find out where they're really going. Good. I mean, could I take a second? No, we can't. I tried that uh, beforehand, but you can't do two missions at the same time. That's unfortunate. Just don't have a second slot here. Okay, what else is new? We can probably... We could get more... Um, we could get more income over here. But 45 uh, Elarium is a great reward. It's, I think, outpacing the AT supply. Just keep the Elarium high. And you can continue to research everything. So yeah, I think we're going to go with the Elarium. The mercenaries you've encountered are from the old Shrike network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after the war. After the formation of 3-1 PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Who's in charge? It's not that simple. Shrike operates in a loose cell structure. Each cell determines which jobs they're willing to take. Some help guard the city's food supply. And others are muscle for seriously shady people. So what if we run into more in the field? They should have the sense to avoid a fight with reclamation. And if they don't, standard rules of engagement. All right. Good, we're almost done with the training. <clears throat> 
And there are a couple of options for us. Let's take a look. Got enough intel, so whichever job we're taking is going to be good. Frag grenade, plasma grenade, both utility items. Not bad. I like the essential prevention of any unrest. That's five unrest which we're preventing over here. The alternative over here is adrenal, uh, adrenal weave, an adhesion grenade. Hmm. Both is good, but I think we also need to deal with the reality that we need to uh, control unrest. First of all, let's reduce the district unrest downtown. We can't snatch that from now. Nah, we can't. We only can snatch it from blue missions. But we have that one ready. The next time the blue mission occurs, uh, occurs, and I would say we are upgrading this. Operations reveal uh, plus one operation reveal point bonus reward on district mission. I like it. So. There's nothing wrong, by the way, with uh, building, um, with revealing. It's not negative to reveal it. You can leave it there as long as you uh, as you want, and at some point it'll push you in order to do the actual mission. So that's not bad. I like it. And this is essentially reducing unrest by five. Well, we're going to have three unrest over here, but I think that's manageable. Okay. Anyways, long mission. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. We're going to continue here in our next episode. Um, keep the comments and the likes flowing, and see you in our next run. Bye-bye.